Yeah, so this is my uh, test footage for the GH3 Lumix camera. I just tested out in an uh, underwater housing in the Bahamas. And we are punching into the underwater uh, shot. I'm just basically using one of those basic digi packs, those underwater digi packs, the bag that you get from B and H or places like that. I checked the uh, seal on the bag in the uh, in the uh, snorkeling uh, boats water that they use for uh, defogging and for like cleaning off your snorkeling gear. Okay, it's rolling. And here you see my lovely snorkeling dive partner. And so uh, I use that bucket to uh, check the sealant of my uh, Whenever you use one of these digi bags as your uh, underwater housing, you're really getting away with something for nothing in a way, in that uh, you get a full underwater housing for just about any camera. You know, for 20 bucks or something like that, or 30 bucks, whatever it was. But uh, basically, you know, you're putting a, a very expensive camera in basically what is essentially a, a really thick Ziploc bag. So uh, one of the things that uh, is part of the procedure for using one of these is to uh, put your camera in it and test it. And right here we have a pretty cool looking Barracuda, by the way. Just happens to be cruising by. Got a little lucky there. It was fun. Fun moment. I mean, you're really supposed to do it in a bathtub. Uh, when you first get it, put it in there, wrap it up as according to instruction, and then test it. Just make sure. Because if you catch a tiny little uh, leak at first, you may save your camera. In invariably, you're going to be on vacation, you're going to have this thing with you, and there's going to be no place to test it. So, uh, and so what I did was I tested it in the uh, anti-fog water that's in this big bucket on the ship. It was, per it was perfect for uh, taking the underwater housing that I just seated the camera in and dipping it down into it make sure there were no air bubbles coming out and no water got in. And air bubbles come out is pretty much essentially how you find out when your thing is failing. <laughs> Because when you're in the water and you're filming, if you see a bunch of bubbles coming out of your thing, that means air is being released. In order for air to be released, that means water's going in. So if you see that happening at any time while you're using one of these things, get out of the water quickly. Because you can save your camera from getting slight moisture in it, but you can't save your camera once it's soaked. It's pretty much done. Having that been checked, uh... I took to the water with it, and these are some of the results that you're watching now. That was a pretty cool uh, powder blue fish going by right now, and you can't really tell, but it had two really large protruding teeth in its mouth. It looks like it was obviously some type of coral eating fish. Okay, I'm going to include a link to the settings that I used to film this video. Uh, they're, they're, they seem to produce pretty good results with this camera. Uh, they're just my best guess, and I will explain some of the reasoning behind why I use those settings in the link. But please feel free to uh, take a look at that link, and hopefully you'll enjoy those settings. And if you have anything to add or contribute... Uh, in terms of what we can do to maybe make it better. I certainly welcome that. And in the meantime, I hope that, hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you find the information in the link of the settings that I used helpful. And now we're just going to look at some sharks I swam with. And this is all snorkeling, by the way, in Bahamas. It's this great dive trip that they have on the other side of the island of Nassau where they take you to several reefs and they're really great and uh, they, they you swim with sharks it was a little it was a little daunting but it was fun <laughs> <laughs>